Multi-factor authentication isn't bulletproof and attackers know exactly how to get around it. Most people think MFA is the final boss of security. It's not. And the weak point isn't the tech, it's us. You've seen MFA fatigue, right? Your phone gets hammered with push requests. You're stressed. You tap approve just to make it stop. But here's the scary part. Attackers can bypass MFA even when you do everything right. They use reverse proxy phishing, a fake website that sits in the middle and relays your login to the real one. You see the real login page. You enter your details, you pass MFA, and the attacker steals a session token that proves you're logged in. And then there's the old classics, fake IT calls, dodgy links. Humans are predictable. That's what attackers are really exploiting. But what else can you do to improve your security posture? Things like conditional access. Set strict policies that block high-risk sign-ins, including those from untrusted locations or impossible travel events. Implement trusted devices. Only allow devices you manage and trust onto your services. And ideally, security keys, as they break typical MFA attacks. Phishing awareness training is also a vital tool used to educate employees. They are your biggest risk, and the appropriate effort should be made to mitigate that. So yes, MFA helps, but it doesn't remove the human factor or the attacker's creativity. That's why people still get hacked. Always remember both your technical controls and your administrative controls.